As promised, guys, today we're gonna go through another Ramon Deckers fight. Yesterday we watched one where he just annihilated his opponent with those low kicks. Maybe today we'll get a little bit more of a competitive fight. Let's get this underway right now. And we are watching Deckers versus Tarzadi. What do we have here? Round one. Looks like Tarzetti is out of the Netherlands. Right away, Decker's out with that low kick. Tarzetti fires back. Ooh, I can already tell that this opponent that he has is more skilled than the guy that we watched yesterday. He has some height on Decker's, which will make things interesting. He's definitely got more of a bouncy style than a lot of the guys that Deckers would have fought because of Muay Thai. This guy looks a little bit more kickboxing style in terms of his movement. We'll be able to tell as we move through whether it's a Muay Thai fight or not. Could very well be kickboxing. Nice catch. Didn't get to do anything with it. Decker's on the hunt, you know, has high guard like he normally has. Nice little stance switch there. I haven't watched that much of Decker, so I don't really know too much about him. Like seeing a stance switch, I would go, oh, is this a good idea, a bad idea? I don't really know. We'll see. Nice job cornering him there, but again, didn't get anything too effective done. Terzadi is utilizing some, some nice movement and, and utilizing that range quite well. But that was a nice counter low kick right there. The, the punch power is very nice from Tarzetti. His hands are a little bit low and far from the head for my preference. I mean, he guards up nicely when his back hits the ring ropes. I hope Deckers doesn't find a hole from the outside. That's the one downside of keeping your hands out further. Whoa, those round kicks up to Oh, it's more like shoulder level, but those head level ones from Deckers are powerful. That was a sneaky little jab from Tarzetti. He just lifted his leg up in a front kick and then threw the jab when Deckers went to catch. I like utilizing that. Nice fakes. This is, oh, good hook. And again, another hook from Tarzetti. This is something that we'll see, ooh, we're gonna see Deckers really have to work in this fight. Like I said, the one yesterday was much easier for him. Tarzetti, in my opinion right now, is winning this round. Mostly because of those two big hooks and the cross that he just landed. It's when you have a taller opponent like this and they're just, you know, a high output, it's sometimes difficult until they calm down a little bit to get the advantage as the, as the shorter fighter. But he probably will have to slow the pace a little bit. It's pretty frantic at the moment. <laughs> Cheeky. Oh, another big hook. That one was right on the jaw. Oh, and he's hurt. Deckers is definitely hurt off that. I'm surprised he didn't go down off that left hook. There's the end of the round. Ooh. Potentially saved by the bell there. Let's catch some highlights of the round. Tarzetti sharp. A few little, few little concerns I have are the, the hands out further, leaving some holes for maybe later in the fight where Deckers can start to land, but that left hook there, ooh. What a job by Deckers. He just overreached on that one, left himself exposed. Guards up nicely though. You can see the corner calling, rounds done, rounds done. <laughs> it was already in the ring before they even stopped punching. You don't see that very often. All right, round number two. I have number one for Tarzetti. Crisp fighter. Decker's coming out with more urgency. <clears throat> I'd like to see him start to, <coughs> excuse me, start to utilize those low kicks. Maybe not so much offensively, but defensively. When Tarzetti moves forward, check, 
with your with your forearm the punch and then come with the low kick or catch the round kick up high when Tarzetti throws and then come back with a counter low kick right there. That's when he should fire. Easier said than done, of course, but if you have somebody like Tarzetti who's long, you have to wait sometimes for them to come to you. It's always easy to sit and commentate. So much easier than actually fighting. That one, Tarzadi saw it coming because there was no setup and Deckers went on the offense. When you do things defensively, a lot of times it's easier to land, in my opinion. Counter shots. This will be an interesting fight. Like I said, I haven't watched a lot of Decker fights, but I haven't seen him challenged in the ones that I have watched. I saw him fight uh, Dwayne Ludwig in K1. He was older in that fight and he got a very damaged arm and he still thumped uh, Ludwig through that fight. I know he's had some very, very hard fights against some high, high level Thai fighters. I'll have to go and watch those as well. There's that low kick, a little setup beforehand would be nice. Ooh, chin was pretty high on, on the end of his combo there for Deckers, sort of paid for it. No respect from Tarzetti. That's, that's something that I've always believed. When you go in to fight somebody, there's, there's the respect, like yes, this guy is impressive in the fact that he's fighting me and you know he's just accomplished a lot. You have to have that respect, but you can't have respect where you don't fight your own game. And Tarzetti is fighting his game. He's not letting Deckers intimidate him. He's not falling into his rhythm. That's what I mean about not respecting your opponent when you're in the ring. Nice, nice guard up. Tarzadi just does not seem worried about his power punches. He just takes him off the forearms. Right there, it's a good shell. Wouldn't let Deckers get away with too many of those personally because at some point something may slip through. We definitely have a good fight today though guys. This is this is not a blowout. This is going to be this is going to be a challenge. Challenge to see if Deckers can come back. That round, I don't remember anything massive of massive consequence landing for Deckers. And like I've said before, when I do these commentating slash scoring, it's very difficult for me to properly score because I'm talking and not focusing strictly on how the fighters are doing, who's winning, but looking back, just kind of reflecting, I would say Tarzetti won that round as well. Could be mistaken, but I just don't recall anything. Anything of Decker's which was of massive note. And this, this, this exchange here, which we're watching right now, uh, was just a good stamp on the round for Tarzetti. Looked like Decker, Decker's was having a moment and then he just reversed it. And there's that nice tight guard, he just, really rendered Decker's offense pretty much useless in that round in terms of damage. Yeah, it was, it was very good. I like this fighter. Round three. Decker's, this is when you get to that point in the fight where if you're not winning it, you have to take this round. You can't be giving away three rounds in a in a five round fight, I'm assuming it's a five round fight, I don't even know. Good work early on from Deckers. Be interested to see what he changes up. I already talked about that low kick, which I'd like to see, but not throwing it on its own because then you should you land the low kick, but then that happens and you essentially lose the exchange because you didn't do a setup. It's just sometimes people have, maybe this guy just has a good style for Deckers, maybe he studied him. I would hope that he studied him and this is, this is good game planning here. Because I really believe that a good game plan can work. Just not fighting his fight, not fighting Decker's fight. Oh, 
Keeping it nice long range right now. That was a long hook, very lengthy. Close to straight arm when he actually landed. You just curl your wrist a little bit and you can still land those hooks. There's the nice low kick on the end of the punch. That's what we needed from Deckers. Takes a punch and then fires back. It did not look like Terzati took that low kick great. A little bit of pain there. They're firing back from Deckers. Looks a sharper this round. There's a low kick. Ref was in the way, but still saw it land. I'd say Deckers has the edge in this round, in my opinion, so far. Be, low kick would be a good time right then. Because this guy is good at catching. <laughs> what a battle. I assume we're definitely in a kickboxing fight in the sense we haven't seen a whole lot of throws and they're not trying to utilize any elbows in that tight range. So that left hook, uh, Deckers is having trouble with it. Having trouble defensively, making sure it doesn't get through. The camera guy's having a little bit of fun watching the fight because he's definitely not on point with the steady camera or following the fighters great. Is that the end of the fight? Everybody's in, they're kind of making it look like it's the end of the fight. Well, it'd be interesting if it is the if it is the end. We fought a, a three round battle. I would I would give the edge to Terzati personally if that if that's all we're doing. It would make sense if it's three rounds. Um, if it's not a title fight, then kickboxing is three threes. If it was Muay Thai, they would go the full five. So, kickboxing rules make sense. You got very good peripheral vision there. You're almost turned away, and you still see the punch coming. Nice jo j job from Tarzati, just just jamming, jamming in. I did a video the other day on uh, Crow Cop versus Bob Sapp, and we were saying just burying your head as tight as you can to your opponent makes it very hard for them to land anything effective. Sometimes it's not a bad a bad decision. Just get really tight to them. Not the whole fight, but in certain moments. All right, decision time. Yeah, I'd say that was a, a good decision. Two rounds to one. Very nice work from Tarzati. What you guys should take from that fight is if you're fighting or up against somebody who's a legend or even in your mind above you, or at least has been in the past. I, I was up against this very often in my career. I would fight somebody, go, oh, this guy is, you know, the North American champion or the world amateur champion, or, oh, it's Kevin Ross and he's been around for a long time. You have to get over that. You have to get over those hurdles in your mind that this person is extra special. You know, you have that and that's okay leading up to the fight, but then in training camp, you, you get rid of that. You create your own game plan and you don't fight their fight. And that's what we saw right here. And it's a great learning tool, a great learning lesson for everybody out there that you can beat the legends or the legends in your mind. If it's the hometown hero, they can all be taken down. Hard training, proper game plan, and confidence in yourself. Those three things are enough to take down anybody, in my opinion. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, join the channel and get subscribed. As always, guys, train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.